Hello friends, my name is Mohamed Imran. I am a second year MBBS student. So in this video, we would study about the development of kidney. And this is a very important topic for anatomy exam. So let's start with the development of kidney. The first point that you should keep in mind is that the kidney is derived from intermediate mesoderm. This intermediate mesoderm would give rise to genital ridge and nephrogenic cord. The genital ridge would later develop to testis and ovary. The nephrogenic cord would later develop to kidney, para mesonephric duct and para mesonephric duct. Moving on, this image would give us a clear idea how kidneys are developed in an embryo. The first structure to be formed is the pronephros. The pronephros would act as a functional kidney in the embryo till the formation of our second structure that is the mesonephros. When the mesonephros would start functioning as the functional kidney of an embryo, the pronephros would get degenerated. The mesonephros would function as a kidney till the formation of metanephros. The metanephros is our main structure and the metanephros would start functioning as a kidney and it would also lead to the development of kidney in future. As the metanephros starts functioning as a kidney in an embryo, the mesonephros would also get degenerated like pronephros. The second main structure that we are going to study are the ureteric bud. The ureteric bud arises just below the mesonephric duct and it is connected to the metanephros. And the first main point is that the excretory tubules and nephrons are formed from metanephros, the cells of which form the metanephric blastema. And the second main point is the collecting part of the kidney or the collecting duct of the kidney is formed from the ureteric bud. The excretory tubules and nephrons are formed from metanephros and the collecting part or collecting tubule of the kidney is formed from the ureteric bud. As you can clearly see in this image, there is ureteric bud and metanephric tissue as I have told previously that the ureteric bud is connected to the metanephros. So this ureteric bud starts to divide into various generation of branches. And this branching would lead to the formation of major calyx, minor calyx, collecting tubules and ureter. As we can clearly see the progression of how this major calyx, minor calyx, collecting tubules and ureters are formed by various generation of branches from the ureteric bud. Now we would study the stages that would eventually lead to the formation of nephron. The first stage is the stage of interaction. In stage of interaction, the metanephrogenic mesenchyme that is the metanephric tissue comes in contact with the ureteric bud. The second stage is the cap stage. In cap stage, there is ampulla formation. The third stage is blastemal stage. In blastemal stage, there is formation of blastema. The fourth stage is vesicle stage. In vesicle stage, the blastema would eventually lead to formation of vesicle and the vesicle is pear shaped. After the vesicle stage, the vesicle would form a comma like structure and that stage is called comma C stage. This is the fifth stage. The sixth stage is the S stage because this comma would form a S shaped structure. So this stage is called S stage and this S shaped structure would differentiate to form glomerulus, proximal convoluted tubule, Henle's loop, distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct. And this is nephron differentiation. This is the last stage in the development of kidney. Let's revise these stages once again. The first one is the stage of interaction. In this, the metanephric tissue and the ureteric bud comes in contact with each other. The second stage is the cap stage. In cap stage, there is ampulla formation. And third stage is blastemal stage because of blastema formation. And the fourth stage is vesicle stage. And the vesicle formed is pear shape. And the fifth stage is because of comma-like structure. So it is called comma C stage. And the sixth stage is S stage because of S shape structure which is derived from the comma stage and this S shaped would eventually differentiate into glomerulus, proximal convoluted tubule, Henle's loop, distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct that is it would form a nephron. Now coming to the next topic that is the ascent of kidney. During the development the kidneys are present in the sacral region and it would ascend to lumbar region during the development of kidney. So 
the metanephros would first receive the blood supply from lateral sacral arteries but with the ascent it would be supplied by higher branches of aorta now let's study some clinical correlation starting with the anomalies of kidney if one or both kidneys are absent then there is agenesis because there is no formation of kidney and if the kidneys are underdeveloped then it is called hypoplasia if the kidneys are overdeveloped then it is called hypoplasia and if there is a distension of pelvis with urine then this condition is called hydronephrosis moving on with the anomalies of shape the first one is the most important one that is the horseshoe kidney in horseshoe kidney the lower poles of two kidney may be fused as we can clearly see in this image because of its resemblance with horseshoe it is called horseshoe kidney as we have studied the kidneys would ascend with the development but there is no ascent in the horseshoe kidney because of inferior mesenteric artery this prevents the ascent the second one is the pancake kidney in this the two kidneys may form one mass as we can clearly see in this image the third one is lobulated kidney the fetal kidney is normally lobulated but if this lobulation is present even after birth then it is called lobulated kidney as we can clearly see in this image thank you for watching hope you like this video make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for more videos related to medical field